Hello everyone, today we'll be looking into UI design trends that are currently shaping the way we experience the web. These modern trends found a way to immense users in a different way that have proven to leave a long lasting impression of the brand on their customers and their audience. We are going to be highlighting the challenges of these trends and I'm also going to be leaving the links to these websites in the description section so that you can go ahead and check them out yourself. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get more videos like this. Number 1 on today's trend is the animated 3D model. These websites allow users to feel and experience a particular product better and it's also used to tell stories about a particular product, for example if you want to see 360 degrees of that particular product. This e-commerce website lets you shop for products in a garden and add to your wish list and at the end of this shopping you are going to see your products in your wish list just the way you are seeing here. Here we have the famous WAPS website currently made by Mimpa using the Dora 3D no code web building software. You can check this software out yourself. I have a couple tutorials on my channel to help you create 3D websites with Dora no code too. Do check the link in the description if you are interested. Number 2 on today's trend is the scroll based animation. The scroll based animation is one of the oldest form of animation on the web and it involves moving text, images and changing shapes, colors and sizes of elements as you scroll up or down the page. It lets users enjoy a sense of progression as they scroll, engaging users by revealing contents gradually. This can help convey a narrative or draw attention to specific elements. But overuse or poorly executed scroll based animation can be distracting and cause frustration. Number 3 on today's trend is gamification, which is an act of bringing gaming concepts into the web, allowing you to move objects around and interact with the system like it's a game. This also makes use of 2D or 3D model. But these websites can be heavy on your computers which can lead or impact performance negatively. Number 4 on today's trend is custom cursors. Custom cursors are exciting and can make the users feel more engaged and immersed in a digital environment. They add a layer of interactivity and playfulness. It's like trying to customize the user's every move. Custom cursor can provide visual feedback helping the user understand interactive elements. But just like other trends, overly used or poorly executed custom cursor can leave the user frustrated or confused. Number 5 on today's trend is the Neon Mist. This is one of my personal favorites. The Neon Mist creates a futuristic and surreal atmosphere, often making the users feel like they are in a sci-fi or cyberpunk world. They can give a unique and memorable visual identity to a website. Neon Mist can be used to convey a sense of innovation and cutting-edge technology. But overusing Neon Mist can lead to a visually overwhelming experience. They might not be suitable for all types of content or audiences and can lead to challenges for users with certain visual impairments. Number 6 on today's trend is minimalism design. This has also been around for a while. Its objective is to make the users feel calm, focused and in control. It creates a sense of elegance in simplicity by reducing visual clutter. Minimalism improves usability by highlighting essential contents and reducing distraction. It can enhance loading speed and improve overall user experience. But overly minimizing design might lack personality or fail to convey complex information effectively. Finding the right balance between simplicity and functionality can be challenging. Finally, on today's trend is huge typography. There is no way we are going to miss huge typography. Large typography can invoke a sense of boldness, emphasis and urgency. It often makes a strong visual impact. Huge typography can quickly capture the user's attention and convey a message or brand identity effectively. Overuse can make a design look cluttered and distracted from other content. It may not be suitable for conveying detailed information. You can also combine one or more of these trends to achieve a unique layout. Here you can find how the 3D assets is combined with the huge typography to achieve a unique layout. 
so guys do leave in the comment section which of these trends is your personal favorite or what challenges have you encountered by using any of this trend thank you guys for watching um i'm going to be posting more videos like this to be keeping us updated about the trends in ui ux design but do not forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a new video thanks for now and i'm going to be seeing you guys in my next video bye